Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to. Uh, what should I call this? Uh, Hold on, Jack. To what? Whoa. Uh, Dagon Gear Solid Shogoth Eater. Here we go with the car chase sequence. Get ready, Jack. Oh, um, it's a giant Shagger. Shagger Hard. Shagger Hoth. <laughs> was chasing us right about now. So right off the bat, I lost an hour of recording, so I have to re-record this entire episode. So this is once again me doing re-recording of stuff I already know. Damn it! This was a really crummy part of the game too, so I'm not happy I have to replay this. But uh, first tip of having played this spot before and knowing kind of what to do: ducking it back here is a good idea. It kind of protects you from bullets. Sort of. Still taking quite a bit of hits. Hope I have time. This is a really rough part. This car chase, and it's gonna really eat up all of our those health packs I've collected. But um, I'm gonna do our best. Oh god! What's the worst part? Is the freaking gun doesn't automatically return to? Oh great! Oh god! I was right there. A gun doesn't return to your hand automatically after you patch yourself up, which is a kind of obnoxious. No, 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 no. Guess now's another good. This is another good moment to patch yourself up. So there we go. Oh, almost out of sutures already. That's kind of bad. I have some mixed feelings at this part of the game. <laughs> oh god, scary girl in the car. We got one out, I guess. The tone of the game changes really wildly at this point, and I already talked, I think, our last episode about the kind of. Oof, there we go. About the whole tone of Lovecraft original works and the different tone in adaptations and whether that's okay or not. But, uh. I have to say, this part of the game is just a bit obnoxious. It turns a generic FPS, kind of. Which is a bit unfortunate. God. There we go, that's fucked down. Oh god. Now's another good time to patch up. Oh, I'm hurting all over. Last suture, that's not good. So, so, for example, this car chase sequence. Don't think it's wrong to be in a uh, Lovecraftian adventure, but uh, this is kind of a nightmare to play this sequence. Kind of the game wasn't kind of designed for a sequence like this, so but they insisted on having one anyway. Um, I feel oh god, it's, it's suture is exactly what it's missing. Oh, okay. Well, good, good for now. Just find route. I'll meet you at the other side. For example, we're now about to have a sequence where I basically just have to gun down a lot of these guys. After all the sort of horror aspects before, it kind of turns into a generic FPS at this point, which is a bit unfortunate. Oh, that's where I got to check this gun out. It's a revolver. Yeah, sick. That's where you got it. I was wondering where I got the revolver the first time I played this. Oh, God. There we go. There's tons of them coming behind me, so I'm just gonna... Oh, that guy had a Tommy gun. It's kind of bad. Yeah. And the revolver is a really good gun. Kind of accurate, and it kind of blows them away in a couple of shots only. It's pretty rad. I don't know, I think it's even better than the Tommy gun after to playing around with it a bit. Yeah, um, I'm kind of glad I had to redo this episode because you wouldn't believe the shit show it was to record the last hour. <laughs> 
me being clueless, me getting a character killed because of me just being inattentive. In fact, I'm gonna get a second chance at saving that character, which I'm a bit happy. I'm kind of happy that I get that, but at the same time, I'm kind of embarrassed that I had to redo it and I, you know, I don't have to relive my failure and stuff. Um, Plus, the game crashed again, and there were ridiculous sound and, like, gameplay glitches. It was really, really frustrating to record. This might be a real savior for me to get to redo this bit. There is a guy over there. Let's see if I can do this bit stealthily now. What's my ammo on the shotgun? It's fine. Revolver's where it's at, though, so I'm just gonna keep that for now. Yeah, I don't know. Revolver well, or shotgun, which one's better? The shotgun really seems to blow guys when you get lucky in like one shot. But, uh. Should I deal with this guy before he's a problem? Also, is that. Oh my god, that guy had some sort of skin condition. Pretty sure. First of all, I was looking, did he have spines on his back? And I. Reasonably sure he did. Yeah, okay, so I want. How about no? Actually, I will come because there's some ammo. Or whatever that was. I'll, I'll take it. You notice these guys die super easily, which, again, might be considered a heresy against Lovecraft's story. You shouldn't be able to solve problems just by fighting. It's supposed to be too powerful, but honestly, the cultists are still supposed to be basically human, so I don't find that's exactly against the spirit of uh, it to be able to gun these guys down easily I'll, I'll save my opinion for when we run into a monster like a proper monster how how hard it'll be to deal with that um, let's see we want to go in this room first <laughs> Okay, that's bad. I have to redo all of that. Check windows carefully. You'll be able to shoot out the glass to open a new route. Okay, good, good tip because I uh, had to use that to save certain someone, apparently. We'll get to that scene later. Yes, I did. I flailed around like a chicken and failed to save the person. Oh. Let's get that. Well, you took your sweet time lining up a shot, didn't you? <laughs> okay, they're not back there yet, but there's a guy right there. Dropped him. Get that. Is my arm still? It is still cut up, so I'm gonna duck again here to suture it up. Oh, now it's back to bandages. That's, that's the weird thing. Sometimes it goes from sutures to bandages. The wounds randomly. I, mm -hmm. I'm not complaining, because it's a lot easier to use bandages. Than. This guy is so unbelievably stealthy, we'll never catch him. Dude, he's just walking around with a headshot. Not someone up there, is there? No. Sorry, mate. Ooh, that guy was, again, a Tommy gun. You can't pick up gun from enemies in this game. A bit weird, but it's a good gameplay balance. We already have a Tommy gun at this point. Well, we're about to get a Tommy gun anyway, so... I suppose... It's not an issue. We, uh, let's see now. Well, there was ammo just lying a boot here. I'm just gonna grab those. Did the guy come in here? No. Okay, so... We shall head on into this cannery. It's a good thing we're a cannery, because I'm gonna open a lot of cans of whoop-ass on you, boys. So let's go upstairs first. Actually, let's just... That's two of those down, and this guy is like, what was that? Yeah, those guys are a bit more monstrous than just... Where did he go? <laughs> oh my god. So much for the horror of these guys, right? 
So this room's a dead end, this cold storage. But, here we go. It's a Chicago typewriter, see? And I'm gonna write your funeral elegy. You creepy fish monsters. Yeah. Now, up here... Oh yeah, you can't break that one. Sorry, this... This glass here, you go... In. And I don't think there's anyone up here. Actually, I could be very mistaken, so let's have a... It's locked. It's locked, okie dokie. Not going that way. So yeah, you can see here, this is uh, further gameplay March Refinery, I'm just sitting over that. Uh, tried to record that earlier, when it... Yeah, as I said, I lost that footage, and... Uh, pretty glad, actually, but it is unfortunate that I'm playing this. Well, hmm. I said this wasn't supposed to be a blind playthrough, but let's be honest, this has been so unclear to me, it's obvious I didn't actually ever play this game after all. I misremembered beating this game, and um, this is all new to me, so we are doing a blind, blind let's play here, basically, at this point. I mean, I, I've heard sort of what happens in this game later on, so I kind of expect a couple of, for example, a couple of the monsters that appear in this game, I can kind of guess are lined up to show up. Now let me, let me scout out this room before anything else happens, because this is the room I was stuck in. Being an idiot, basically. Um, let's see now. First of all, there's ammo here. Though there's some keys over there. Grabbing those will trigger a scene. Now, someone said there's supposed to be a staircase here with windows you can shoot out. I don't see any staircases, so I... Still don't know what that advice on one was on about. Oh god, did I? Okay, no, no problem. Just a bit of a blood splatter on the eyes, which would hurt a heck of a lot. But we'll just ignore that detail. Was the staircase outside then? Because I can't see anything here. That's like a staircase. That's the advice. You start out by finding a staircase and shooting out a window. But I don't see that. Well, let's start the sequence anyway. So. Jack, I'm up here. Oh, Ruth. We're looking for you. Ruth, what the hell are you doing up there? I must have been followed. They stormed inside just moments ago. There was gunfire outside. I only just managed to climb up here and threw the ladder down to escape. I'm trapped up here, Jack. The door's padlocked and this ledge isn't gonna hold for much longer. I don't wanna die, Jack. Help me. Keep back. I'll figure something out. So there's about, I don't know, maybe five minutes or so to save Ruth from up there. She does eventually drop through the ledge. The area. But first, search everywhere. Show yourself. we hear every single line of dialogue going, Search the area. And then they just spot me anyway. Well, let's... Let's start dancing, boys! Dance for me! Now, I'm gonna lose all my weapons shortly, so I might as well... Up my oh, this guy is tough with a capital T. What is wrong with you, dude? There we go, dropped him. Then we where's that typewriter again? Ah, huh, looks like I ran out of ink cartridge. Let's load up another round, shall we? Dance for me. I think that's all of them. Now is a very good time to do this really quick. I think there's still quite a lot of... Oh, fuck! Another guy. There we go. So now, let's see if it's outside. Because... It's about to collapse. Yeah, Ruth is hysterical for like five minutes straight. Um, let's see... Window, window, come on. That's, that's, the, that's the advice I was given. Find a... Stairs with a... I mean, here's some windows, but I obviously I can't reach this sill. 
So, okay, I still don't know what this game wants me to do. Do I have to... Do I have to backtrack? Is that what the game wants me to do? Actually, I just... Okay, just just take it the easy. Don't try, don't move too much, Ruth. Just because. Hmm. Is this is this the stairs and the windows that the guide online meant? Like, is there a route this way now? Well, I guess we're gonna find out, right? Uh. It's unlocked. Oh my god. I would never have realized without a guide to come all this way back and then just this door is randomly open. Ugh. I I'm not I'm okay, I'm gonna say that's not entirely my fault. I mean I wasn't careful enough to explore, I suppose. Oh, I hate hide. And yeah, we've noticed uh, Jack, you're kind of kinda of bad at high places. Oh god. Oh, if you look like this, it kind of seems to. Oh yeah, because it like don't look down. That's cool. Uh, no, that's not good. Get the hell out of here! Lead the way. Come on, Ruth. Oh crap! They're shooting at us. Okay, so that's how you save her. Now I see. Huh. Yeah. Okay. I'm that. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm always loath to blame design designers the game designers because you know it often is that i'm just stupid but backtracking all that way to a door which was locked previously and now just random is unlocked i i call shenanigans that was a bit bit lame oh jeez. ruth you gonna make it yeah all right she's safe all right well that's the timeline has been changed. In my original recording, Ruth fell through and died because I just ran around like a headless chicken trying to figure out how to get up there. I thought you had to, like, do some parkour on these boxes to get up there. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> so, happy ending after all, I guess. Come on, Ruth. Hurry the hell up. And you can even go talk to Brian earlier. And he's just like, well, go get Ruth before we leave. Oh, crap. So this ends anyway the same as it does even. Oh hey, the G-Men. Hey guys. Thank goodness. Oh right. Okay. Well. Never mind that love story. Good thing I good thing I put that extra effort to save her, I guess. So this sequence confused me very much because we've had these flashbacks, or are they flash forwards? before about the asylum so i was like we're having one of those now but <laughs> you're gonna see in a second this is actually right after the events we just saw we've actually gone for reels to the asylum now well these are just you know jack's crazy flashbacks to the death of ramona does he you know this doctor is even the same that appeared in the uh, opening flashback or flash forward either or so it's I thought we were in one of those, but uh, then then the following happens, and we realize it's actually right after the uh, escape from Innsmouth. Did I ask for your damn opinion? Remember who funds this damn nut house? Very well. <laughs> Uh, no, no thanks, Doc. I already got my tetanus shots. Uh, he's awake. Ah, Mr. Walters. Our friends in the Boston PD hold you up as quite the hero. Before you went all screwy, that is. Well, thank you. Um, I don't like heroes, Mr. Walters. Oh. And I don't care for your opinions. Whoever the hell you are. Hey, look, he's actually J. emoting Edgar some emotions, Jack. From the bureau. And considering your it's position, Jay Edgar Mr. Hoover. <laughs> you best mind your manners. Now, what was your business in Innsmouth? Just stopping in on some broad. I was feeling down on my luck. 
Neither the company. <laughs> ah, bullshit. There are only two types of folks that visit Innsmouth. Oof. Criminals and fools. And you don't seem like a fool. Appearances can be deceptive. I don't know if that counts as a compliment, but, uh... I see. Dr. Hardstrom, if you'd be so kind. Um, what is that noise? What are you doing behind me? What are you... I'm sorry, that's a pair of jumper cables. You're not going to... You know, what little I've read about J. Edgar Hoover, this doesn't seem very out of character for him. <laughs> I don't, actually. He was a man of... He was a man of many, uh... Many methods, so to speak, as I understand. And I believe last episode I accidentally said Herbert Hoover. That's my... Lack of American history showing. Sorry, guys. Herbert Hoover was the president during the Depression, of course. It was Just J. Edgar Hoover who founded the FBI. I don't know nothing. Gotta buy Hoover's all Hoovered up, I guess. Hoover, it's Hoover. Not stop, Mr. Walters. So you may as well level with me. I already told you. It was nothing. Missing person case. And I needed the dough. Oh no, now the ghosts are here with me as well. Mr. Hoover? You you there? Did the ghost kill you? Oh no, I don't need any more booster shots. Oh god damn it. Are you a qualified doctor? Because I don't really think you. I was only checked in for one night. And I had to blow the joint in the early hours. Seems the locals didn't take kindly to my snooping. For Christ's sake, Walters. Is it normal in your line of work to break a punk out of the can and breeze out of town in a stolen car? <laughs> Only on the good days. But not normally, no. I've had a shitty night, Hoover. So I really appreciate you cutting me some slack. What's the Bureau's beef with Innsmouth, anyway? Widespread criminal activity, Mr. Walters, and half the damn town's involved. Our government's never had to handle something on this scale before, but they won't sanction a full-scale operation without more evidence. Well, I've got testimony of a bunch of guys trying to kill me. Would that, would that, would that do anything for you? Well, I appreciate the bedtime story. I don't see where I come into this. Thanks to your meddling, Mackie's gone missing, and he was close to something. Something we could use. Missing? What do you mean, missing? He was supposed to check in hours ago. Our plans have now changed. You'll be accompanying us back into Innsmouth, Mr. Walters, on a small-scale raid. Our target? The Marsh Refinery. Hmm... That sounds like a bad idea. <sighs> I'm not your lapdog, Hoover. I don't work for the Bureau. Oh god, I know what that sound is. No, 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 I'm... Rock, heart's ticking just... I'm not in the business of making requests, Mr. Walters. Or have you forgotten your past so quickly? A signature here, a signature there, and we can make you a permanent fixture of this delightful establishment. I could even arrange for you to have your old room back. Fuck you. No, oh, that's awesome, Jack. That's a good night, <laughs> Mr. Walters. Pleasant dreams. Phew. Right, so. During my interrogation, it became apparent that the FBI has been watching Innsmouth for some time. Mackie was the Perot's inside man. Now he's missing as well. Hoover and his boys are going to mount a raid on the Marsh Refinery, and I'm invited whether I want to go or not. As if I haven't been through enough in the last 24 hours. I tried to tell Hoover what's waiting for them in that refinery, what's lurking beneath the surface of the town, but he didn't believe me. Can't say I'm surprised. I wouldn't believe me either if I hadn't seen it for myself. And Hoover hasn't seen what I've seen. From the questions Hoover asked me, the Bureau knows next to nothing about Innsmouth or the refinery, even though the FBI has been watching Innsmouth for some time. It's not surprising since it cut itself off from the outside world more than 50 years ago, and no one outside of Innsmouth has been inside the refinery since then. I guess Mackie didn't tell him much, or he didn't believe Mackie any more than he believed me. 
Uber thinks the old gold refinery is the main source of wealth for the Marsh family and is a base of some kind of criminal gang. He figures that a lot more gold comes out of the mill than is possible for the amounts of raw ore they buy, and he wants to know why. I guess I thought things were pretty simple too when I first came to Innsmouth. Now I envy him for his ignorance. I must have been a sight when they found me. It certainly loaded me up with sedatives. They've almost worn off now, but I'm feeling drained. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering, where is, uh, where is Jack writing this and with what? They just gave him a pen and paper, his journal, in the in the who's gal, so to speak. I wish I could blame the drugs for the dreams I had while I was out, but they were just like the dreams from the other night at the Gilman Hotel. The dreams keep on getting clearer, more like memories. I'm getting fleeting images of some other things, too. They just seem to pop up from somewhere in my mind for no apparent reason. I have no idea what they mean, except that I need to keep a grip on myself. I don't want to return trip to the Arkham Asylum. Joker's gonna cause some problems again, Batman's gonna come and punch me in the midst, meh. The raid is set for tomorrow. I'd give anything to avoid going back to that town. The feds handed me back Ruth's brooch, which they found in the wreckage of the car crash. Another painful memory. Sorry, I believe it's pronounced brooch. Is that correct? You can tell me, is it brooch or broach? That is rhyme with mooch or roach. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, say, an FBI raid on Innsmouth. Again, not totally impossible for a Lovecraft story or leaning on it. Lots of the tabletop RPGs are based on the government working against Cthulhu. Stuff like um, Delta Green and I guess some of the regular Call of Cthulhu pen and paper stuff. Look here, Walters. Your profile shows that you're a man to be trusted, even allowing for your stint in the nuthouse. I packed you with armaments. I demand your complete cooperation. Our reconnaissance reports have confirmed Sebastian Marsh, the manager of the refinery, will be out of town on business. He's left his son Jacob in charge of operations. We won't get a better chance to launch this raid. Our mission is to capture Jacob Marsh. He may be our only chance to get under the skin of the Marsh family. We must secure him alive. You know, I've, I've sometimes in the past I've considered I'd like to... Sebastian away, we expect oh. the refinery to be heavily guarded. I'll fill you in with more details when we have breached the main doors. Jack, you better stay in the car while my agents secure the entrance. Yeah, that'll end fine. I've considered running a game of the Call of Cthulhu pen and paper RPG by Chaosium. But there's two things positions, stopping agents. me from doing it. One is, of course, I don't like the extreme lethality of it. I, I just know I couldn't run that very well. A very lethal adventure. The second is, I feel like there's such a unique period in history, especially American history, the 1920s and 30s. Hold your fire. Or 1910s and 1920s. And uh, it's one that I don't really know super well, so I just feel like I wouldn't be doing justice to that era if I tried to run an adventure. You know, I wouldn't know what it was like no, life back wait. then. I mean, a fantasy... Fantasy adventures are easy to run because you just make up knights and dragons stuff and only like historians will call you out and even then you can say yes but in this fantasy setting it's different from real life to make up for some sort of mistake you've made. Also, what the heck? This is snow? Just suddenly turned into a winter wonderland overnight here and the question is what the heck? How about no? I don't really... Okay, I'll, I'll come, I'll come. So we only have a pistol. That's why I was. That's why I wasted all my Tommy gun shots there. <laughs> we lost everything except the pistol. I guess we did retain the ammo, so maybe it wasn't smart of me to waste it like that. Now that I think about it. But um, oh well, what's done is done. Gunner is too hold in. None of us can make a clean shot. For God's sake, Uber, get your men out of there. They're sitting ducks. Nonsense. We'll lay down some covering fire. You get your ass up there and show us what you can do. Me. What? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, yes, get you, by the way, I haven't been talking about I was talking about the tabletop RPG and, and, and American history. There is now a guy with a machine gun in this game, like a fixed machine gun. 